Well, hello there. How's everybody doing? Hi, Liz. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Violet. Hi, Hi Sharon. <laughs> hey, Hi, Margo. Kelly. How are Hi, you? Margo. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Liz. Yeah, say hello to everyone. Hi. Glad you're all here. Hey, guess what? And I have some fun tips I'm going to share this time. Um, I got some acrylic plates. They're not very thick, but they were in a two pack on Amazon for pretty cheap. Um, and, and this is my first time using them. So I'll be able to flip over and see what we're doing. Um, I know we're going to, I announced that we're going to play with some crackles today. We also have some stuff from the yard because right now, look at these beautiful leaves. Look at, and look at these. My, these are my horseradish leaves. They are so, they're like lace right now. Look, see this? Look at this. It's like lace. Look at that. Um, it's slugs getting into the <laughs> horseradish. But look what they've done. It's so beautiful. I'm just, I'm impressed with these. Um, I'm going to share a few because I just brought these in and started playing. I'm already messy. Um, and I'm going to share the ones that inspired today. And then I also have some rusty tip to share with you. Hi, Nisi. Hi, hey, Nisi. Hi, Maxine. Yeah. So is anybody playing along with us today on their gel plate? Or are, you, are we just watching and chatting and hanging out? That's a good question, right? Well, I'm watching and chatting because my gel plate's <laughs> downstairs. Although I have a new junk journal cover idea in mind. And Ooh. I need my gel plate to do it my gel plate and fabric no less oh i'm excited that you're here too margolo <laughs> hi so <I'm> estella <laughs> hi estella <laughs> i'm just so glad to see all of you just watching today kelly just watching liz um so you know i did the rust dyeing recently right mm -hmm. um Hi, and Trish. boy, that was fun. Hey, Trish, how are you? I have a an email that meant to get sent to you, by the way, and uh, it's, it's sitting in my in my unsent mail, and I'll I'll do it after we're done here tonight uh, with a little special something for you. And there's um, Evie. And while I've got Evie well, here, you know, um, Evie. Evie, did you send me a message on Facebook that says, hi, how are you doing? Something along those lines. Oh, um, that sounds like that scam. Yeah, That's see, I, I, I was afraid to respond or do anything because it, it just sounded too formal. Re to you guys can, if you see those, you can respond. But my re recommendation is to ask them a personal question about how how they know you. And um, because what they're going to do is say, hey, have you heard for, about this um, uh, American Disabilities Act? Yeah, uh, I, can, like I can send you a link for the guy that can help you with it. And then when you click on the link, then it's like or it's a phone number or whatever. It's like the scam, you know, and they ask for all your personal information. And so clicking on that won't hurt you. You can actually just say, hey, how do you know me? and find out if somebody's been See, your I account. See, I do that. I, I go yeah. find the, the real person like- I've done that too. Like now with Evie and she says, nope, that wasn't her. Her, her account has been cloned. Hi, um, Ann. Evie, so, didn't that happen last week to you? Hey, Ann. Uh, I think it was last week. I remember sending a message, um, warning. Was that, or or was that Trish? Was one of, one of you. Well, I'll tell uh, you the other thing that tipped me off. It, it said it was a new account and uh -huh. um, it only had very few um, um, other people. And another thing I do is I go right to the profile page and check it out that way. And it just looked really oh, yeah. fishy. Another thing you can do is to, to type their name into chat. And if it comes up with two, because if you've ever chatted with them th at all, they'll be the original conversation and there'll be a secondary account. Yep. So that's a good way to check too. Yeah. 
Yep. And now well, I'm that, not uh, finding it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they delete them after you don't, after some, so long, they delete it because they don't want to be traced and then they clone another account. Cool. Cause it was, it yeah. was, um, it was yeah. there this morning and I, I ignored it. Yeah. So you guys see, see this, you know what it is? It's rust. I had a, a thing outside that I keep a, a, a globe on that's um, like a stained glass and it's, it's a, it's a, a light, it's solar power. Hi, um, Mariah. But underneath it, hey, Mariah, how you doing? And underneath Michelle. it, I had, um, hi, Michelle, uh, a, a base and it was some sort of pulley, you know, like really big, heavy iron. Inside of it was all this rust. And then the, I also have from the bottom of my rust bucket, some little rusty, little rust hunks. So what I did was I used a paintbrush and I brushed it all into here. And this is something I'm going to be experimenting with next. Now I could obviously add this to water, but I'm thinking this is iron oxide is all it is. So um, I'm thinking I can grind it up and use it like an iron oxide, you know, um, with some water or some... I don't know. It's pretty exciting to me. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> so, and drying, very drying for your hands. So yeah. I thought and this was a... Hopefully you have no with. open cuts. No, open cuts no. no. And I have a tetanus shot. So. Yeah. But check, I mean, there's little flakes that have all, these col all this color. And it's rust. It's absolutely... See that? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to play with these. Um, might be able to just glue down the hunks too. Um, so let's see. Should we get started? Are you ready? I'm excited. I, I can't wait to share. <laughs> I can't wait to share. I'm going to put this on here for a minute. Maybe it'll pick up what's on my plate. So this is what we are doing working with so i know you guys saw these pictures of the crazing well that's a new one um and i experimented with some different uh paints to get different results here um and i want to show you how i did these with the lines do you remember the that looks like a big fingerprint um and we're going to play with those a little bit and then we're going to do a little composition on them with some gorgeous leaves that I have just picked from my yard. Um, and they dry really fast because of the paints that we're using. I did use some uh, gouache to try to replicate it. But as soon as you put another color down to pull it, nothing. I mean, I mean it turns to, so, well, this was gouache right here. And it kind of all blends together and, you know. And then I, I just used that paper to pull some leaves. Um, this one is the crazing uh, with the lines picked up with a metallic. Kind of wanted it to look like wood knots. Um, that one's not. And then this one that we all loved so much that looks like falling leaves. I love this one. It's just so cool. But it's a couple different colors on there that I did that with. Um, and this one, I didn't get real directional with it, but I'll share how I did that. Uh, I do have a couple plates sitting, waiting for me with their first layer on it. And I'll, I'll share those, but that'll get us to a second layer so I can show you. They dry fast though. So it's not a big deal. Um, check these beauties out. Look at that. Do you see this lacy goodness here? Lacey, Lacey. Thank you, slugs. Thank you, slugs. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, these are a tree. So that's might not be slugs. These are over on a different part of the yard. Um, and it got all and this is horseradish leaves, which we eat incidentally. Um, uh, the the root balls, the horseradish that they grind up is huge. And I think if you moved all the dirt we have a full shelf of it over there on on that side of the house where the garden was it is crazy there are so many horseradish plants i we have enough horseradish to feed an army <laughs> anybody want some horseradish <laughs> i used to I love used it to love we used to make it when i worked, when in, I worked the bar, in the bar we, we uh, uh made it from made scratch, it from scratch. 
but my husband can't stand it. Oh, I, we love it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Mariah is finishing her striking sticks. I'm, I, I'm reading what I can see here on the. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, and Anne used dragonfly stained glass wing on. Uh, oh, oh, like, and was it the uh, wing stencil from Pia Marta Studio? I'm wondering. Um, hungry, hungry caterpillars. That's that might be what's going on in in here. This is something because it's up high. These are down low, um, but I have a whole stack of them here at different. Look at that. I mean, it's just so. Oh, look at that. Let's see what we can and do with these. It's surprising to find out that slugs like horseradish too. Yeah, the leaves are spicy. Um, they don't taste like horseradish spicy, but they mm -hmm. they have a bite to them. And I'll pop out there and grab some and throw them in a, throw it in a salad or on a sandwich or in a taco. Really good in a taco um, because they have a they have a bite. You know, I found. I mean, we have a whole crop of them over there, and there are very few that don't have holes in them. But here's one. I, I found them at all different stages here. Oh, Mariah, Mariah says grasshoppers will eat them too. I've never seen oh. a grasshopper over there. I know we have slugs though. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking. They're just beautiful. So I, I thought they'd be fun to play with. Um, but that'll be for um, the, the composition and the finishing. Of, I agree with Anne. Of, what's that? The... Um, if you got stencils or or any purchases from PM Marta Studio, why bother with any others? Yeah. <laughs> That's just the way I feel. Look at that. See the I, I've been having fun with this one before I we like start. That one. I love the holes there. They're just there's a design in that. And I love them. So um and then I have some others here, a few. This is a volunteer tree that we have coming up. Um, anyway, oh, and I grabbed some giant ones because I need pages for something that I'm working on. And I thought it would be fun to have a full page with the writing space um, being the leaf. So in some lighter colors and then maybe pull it with something dark. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me put these off to the side here. I did get some new paper and we're going to find out if we like it. It's this stuff here and it's a non-waxed um, butcher paper that uh, it feels waxed to me. It does. Hi, um, but it's not. Hi, Deb. How you doing? Um, Margolo, you'll find this interesting or creepy. My hubby found a deer skeleton ooh, in the woods years back and put the skull on rusty car park rust now totally covers the skull interesting <gasps> wow i i i would love to see that margalo margalo does not have facebook so margalo you should send me a, a picture in my in my email mm -hmm. and i'll i'll share it for you how does that sound yeah i would love to see that that's amazing i'm you know if they died naturally in the circle of life and all that that's great. If I get hit by a car, it just breaks my heart. My mm -hmm. husband gets frustrated with me because I, you know, I'll be like, oh, every time we see an animal and uh, even a log in the road up ahead. And I, I think it looks like slightly like an animal and I'm starting to panic, you know, it can ruin a trip. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'll post it in makers. If, if she sends me a photo mm -hmm. in my email. That's that's awesome. Deb is typing very carefully with her right hand. Oh, oh how God, are you? Deb. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would love to see that. Um, so if we like this paper, I will post it. I think it was 50 pages for $9.99 and it's non-wax butcher paper. So um it's it, it should get into all the little all the little details, you know, like because it's it's thicker than tissue. Look at that leaf. That's that one. That's cool. So cool. Mm -hmm. but I thought we'd do some pickups with this, and then you know have it create its own piece of art while we're doing it, like you know accidentally accidental art. That's right. <laughs> First, let's um, let me show you what I have on my plate here. 
Um, Mariah wants to know what size is it? What size is that paper? It is, uh, it was 12 by, or 8, 10 by 14, 10 by, I have to look at it. I'll, I'll put a link, uh, down below after, uh, tonight's live so that you guys can check it out if we decide we like it, you know, um, non-waxed. So there's a lot of people that are, uh, wrapping meat with it because it's butcher paper, but a lot of them have wax. So when you get the ones with wax, it's very disappointing because they're not as useful, I think. Um, so what I have going on here, I did put one color down on this one and one color on my other plate and I'm, you know, waiting for them to dry, but you know, it's, it's fast drying. Um, so we can do a second color and I can show you. Let's get a color on this one first though, so it can start to cure. And I'm going to leave those little leaf imprints because it's another layer that we're going to add. How's that sound? Um, yeah, it's, I don't, it's not, it says it's not, um, coated Deb, but, um, it does feel different. Uh, and it's, it doesn't seem to be wax. It's the paper itself. So far so good though. I, when I pulled it out of the package, I was like, oh no, it feels waxed, you know, but it seems to be working. So we'll see. So it's holding the paint and the paint's not yeah. peeling off. Yeah, the yeah, there so far, go. so far, so good. So we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna leave those because we'll, we'll add those later anyway. Um, and I'm not worried about it, I just add some extra color. But I want what I want here is some high contrast. So I'm gonna start with a really dark color. I started with blue on that one, so I think I'm gonna find the, the black this time, and then it can be picked up with any color we want. How's that sound? Black, 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 that's not black. Um, do a green. Where's my black? There's my black. Is that black? Yep. So what I'm using, and I tried the gouache earlier, like I said, because what you want is something that's going to move on the plate. Uh, that's either water-based or very liquidy. And we will do a little experiment with some regular acrylic paint um, and add some water in a bit and try that. So remind me of that, okay? Okay. And okay. Deb wants to know that the um, both sides are the same as far as... Yes, you know, they're exactly the same. There it's you go. Through, the paper seems to be through like exactly the same. It's like all the way through the same. And I, I was checking that out too. Boy, I'm a mess. I've been so busy and I, I really went down some rabbit holes um, when I found out I had another week for the collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Last remember, weekend yeah. I worked so hard. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna want to do is use either a high flow or a very wet paint that that doesn't wanna stay solid on your plate. And that could be a lot of things. You just have to experiment. It could be some homemade paints. It could be some um if you've made any of the um um uh, paints, the color shift. I couldn't, couldn't think for a second there. Um, paints that I made, and I, I made a video of that um, a while back. Uh, so any of those that might have something in it that makes it move on the plate or kind of go back together, um, that's kind of what you want. So experiment with those, and we will with water. So I'm going to drop that down, and we want high contrast for those to show. or I would add another color. Of course I can if it's really dark, but you gotta think whatever you pull it with. So you could leave it like this and it's gonna do some fun things. Um, or get your paintbrush, something wide works best and start making some designs and it'll go in that whatever whatever form you put it in and it'll start to crackle and have lines that follow that does that make sense yeah yes i'm so, going to comment, comment to, to um, um maxine, maxine sometimes, sometimes you do have to go out and come back in to and then make sure you're on the live the 
the live chat oh, yeah right over not only the live chat at the top make sure you're live chat and not top chat but make sure that over there by sharon's name where it says texture junkies oh you're probably on a phone not on a computer never mind <laughs> <laughs> I do all that and I don't do phones. I don't, uh, my eyes are too, too little to, to see on a phone. So I have to do desktops. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to move this to the side and, and let it completely dry. And then we'll add a different color to it. Like maybe blue um, or like phthalo green, something dark as well. And bef before we pull it, we'll, we'll get two swishes of lines in there. And two, okay. two swishes clearly words words <laughs> just words use your words <laughs> yep, yep yep i remember yep. this one this one yeah i remember you doing this one. Oh, i just did this one so yeah. oh this isn't yeah. from two weeks ago no this is a new one oh. i just did today so it's <clears throat> it's i did two different colors of the yeah. high flow blue so I used the ultramarine blue and the phthalo blue. Um, but then I kind of swish it together. So I do have some different colors in here. And I've got the lines and that's totally dry. So now I think, gosh, if I use red, I'm going to end up, it's going to end up looking like a waving flag. And, and I don't really want that. So I'm thinking brown, actually. And then I'll pull it with some gold. Maybe. What do you think, guys? Or or some phthalo green. Hmm. I've got. Hmm. It has to be a dark color. Like, oh, I could use fuchsia. Let's see. Didn't I just have that out? So if you're on a computer, Maxine, over by Sharon's name, if you don't click, but if you just touch it with your mouse, you'll see where it. it you can mute it and you can make sure that your red dot is is on so you're in the live stream and not behind did i say that okay. well yep sure <laughs> i see some thank you for being such a tech guru there violet um silver green would make turquoise gold Yes. Uh, well, we'll pull it with gold. So we need we need a color that's in the same kind of value as this blue. So it's got to be another dark color, technically, um, because it'll get pulled with a lighter color so that we get to see all those little lines that are on there. Well, I and have burnt umber. You want the burnt umber? We could well, do that. If you have to go dark, I'm, I favor burnt umber. Not burnt sienna. Burnt umber. Burnt umber. That's sepia. And Anne had to toddle off to handle some estate matters. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, okay. There you well, go. Well, we'll Maxine. see you later, you're Anne. All caught up. Did Did Maxine get fixed? Yep. She's all. She's okay. all good. Awesome. Burnt sienna. I have and raw umber. Me. I have sepia in the high flows. That's what I'm talking about. Um. Let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking. If you like, burnt, Trish, burnt Trish umber. says, there you go. Trish says, if you like Halloween or spiders, then order the PM Ida Studio spider web stencil. It was my first stencil and it is amazing. Aww. Thanks, Mariah. Oh, that's cool. I mean, what one of their stencils are not? I mean, they're just yeah, they're awesome cool. designs. They're, they're awesome. unique designs. Yeah. And it's not just that, but it's the way that P shows us how to use them, how to apply them, you know? So I'm, going on here with well it needs Ooh. more it needs more it needs more and shaking. i think i'm gonna try to i'm gonna follow the same lines if i had gone straight i might do like an x pattern and mm -hmm. end up with like a buffalo plaid almost but there it goes okay gotta get that ball bouncing around in there yeah there all right, so I'm going to roll it really gently because I don't want it to. Eh, it's not showing up very good, is it? It's a different brand. It's an airbrush paint, which is kind of what what this is. I mean, so 
it's just a little more watery. I don't have the burnt umber in the other one. So. Well, it's looking all right. It's looking nice and splotchy yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to kind of follow the same. We'll see if it shows up. <laughs> it's all an experiment, isn't it? I yep. mean... Well, we're just going to see if we get any of those same lines as it separates, if they'll show. That one might be too sheer, though. So I'm going to set this off to the side and let it, because it'll it'll start to do its thing. It'll start moving. Well, I hope it starts moving, at least. Um, and let's get another plate out here. Got this red one here going. Evie, I think it's the high flow. If you use the high flow on the gel plate, that's where you're going to get your um, selling and yes. your phrasing. Yes. Or yeah. if you use any sort of watery paint, you can use gouache, like a watered down gouache. But know that whatever you pick it up with, so that, so that has to be your last layer. You could do, you know, a, a light color and then do your gouache on top of it and move it around. But it needs to be a last layer and then it needs to be pulled because it doesn't like um, it doesn't want to be re wet because it'll it'll start moving around on you. Does that make sense? Mm hmm. And I think it was you that had some old, old paint. And I said that Fran had some old paint that just kind of blobbered up. It really didn't flow well. And she oh, bought, yeah, she bought some. Uh, I think it was golden it might have been liquitex flow extender flow improver flow improver oh yeah. yeah it brought it back to life it was it was really cool and it it started selling and crazing and yeah i've got some silver paint. out here <clears throat> i never yeah. reach for the silver yeah. <laughs> so, it was feeling lonely <laughs> my silver's very lonely okay so i'm gonna just pull it. You can see all the little bumps there that that high flow makes. Let's pull it with some cardstock. And then it can have a second layer. I'm going to go this way with it. And that's a lot of paint on there, so it needs to sit. Oh, I know what what P needs to get. Um, I think it's a Jelly Arts product. Um, because sometimes she wants to put a, a print down on top of another one and she wants to line it up and everything. And that's where that. Um, oh, the uh, the aligner that they have. Yes, the that corner. Yeah. yeah. I was watching a, a little short on that today and it was like, well, that's really cool. People yeah. That. Okay. So I flipped it over. That's really neat. That silver mm. looks gold almost through my it my gel plate. Yeah, I gotta let my dog out because my my husband went out there and he's gonna continue to cry. He's right here. He's that. Placement tool. That's what it yeah. was. A placement tool. Well, it looks like a, a a a corner, like an edger or something, a corner, and it that way every time you put the paper down, you could put it back down in the in the correct place. Yeah, I think it's awesome, but you could totally use something else to make to do that without mm -hmm. buying the tool. You'll probably make one. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Mariah and, and P and Brad are pretty handy. Pretty, yes, pretty smart fellows. I'm sure they could come up with something. That's cool. It's ready. I needed um, some I corner cutters it. for my my um, journals when I um, cut fabric or paper to wrap around the journal cover, that's gorgeous. It wow. really is. Do you know Those what that looks like? Together. What? That looks like a picture from a murder scene. <laughs> it's murdery. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's, so it's Halloween. Maybe that's what I need to be working on. <laughs> it's yeah. very Halloween. <laughs> Somebody got blood all over a concrete floor. That's what it is. <laughs> Let's uh, do some those, more of that silver. We like that. Those good Let's... fellows were shooting up a garage. That's what they were doing. <laughs> I love that movie. I've seen it so many times, though. I, I've probably seen it enough. 
yeah, good fella. My husband yeah. has seen it more than me, but yeah. I've watched it with him. That and um and we just did the Godfather marathon. And before that we watched the offer, which is about the making of the Godfather. I've seen the Godfather many, many times as yeah. well. That is going yeah. on. He <laughs> loves to do that. I thought I was out and it pulled me back in. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then he does that. It's like, okay, you're going through your godfather phase. I did too. I watched a lot of those sort of movies when I was younger. Um, so I've seen them all. Uh, you know, anything that would come out new, I would run out and watch. And um, So let's try the buffalo print-esque. So it, you got to get it while it's wet yeah. so that it's separates in those lines or you know in the direction of the brush so see it's doing it already yeah yeah so we're gonna give that a few minutes so then you'll come back to that and go in the other yeah. direction you yeah go the other direction and we'll put it at the bottom of this one Let's set that there okay i think this one needs our love and attention our black one. Here we go. Um, so with this one, should we put another color inside of our, should we do some red and then we'll pull it with, pull it with gold and then we'll pick up some leaves after it's dry. Um, Cause that'll be stage two for whatever we're doing let's here. Let's do red. Let's stick with the yeah? margarine. Okay, let's let's do that. I don't often do murdery, so I've got a few reds here. Um, I have that's quinacridone red. It's got more of a pink tint, um, and this one is a lot cooler. It's the uh, Nathal red light. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> Why do they got to be difficult? Oh, I have another one too. No, that's orange. Oh, and uh, nope, that's the same color. I had purchased on eBay, somebody was selling a bunch of these, and they call them airbrush paints, but I had already purchased a bunch of uh, the, the full set of, um, well, you know, like the 12-piece set or whatever. Um, and that's where that paint was that I just shared. There's a couple of that brand in there, and it says um, airbrush and paintbrush calm art um i think they're probably old mm. but i bought them on ebay for really cheap and both orders just happened to be in because i had been watching on ebay they were used but they were all pretty full so i do have some of the same colors so i'm gonna go like that And I'm not going to roll it out this time. I'm going to go straight to it and hope to not move my black around too much. There is some movement there. Yep, I'm seeing it. It could be my brush, too. It's not horribly ugly. It just darkens. No, it, it, just, it's like plasma. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be moving. So something has to be a little wet there still. You could do a yin yang sign with, you know, with with these if you did this this way. Mm hmm. I can mm -hmm. see that. Mm -hmm. Evie said she created a few creepy bugs, um, probably from the stencils. And and Mariah says, uh, please show in makers if you haven't yeah. already. We love it. Yeah, we love it when you put pictures in there. I do. I have been kind of preoccupied with so many different projects. I had art piles all over. Yes, you have. <laughs> I, you know, my from my desk to, um, I think this is dry now. Yeah. You, I think you, that was my you brush. Had, you create I, when I, it I comes to you. Outside. Yeah. And then I decided, oh, I must have rust dyed fabric now. I don't know what got into me there. But I, so when I do things, I do things in bulk. So I'll make a whole bunch usually if it's something messy like that, then I know, you know, I, I have it on hand for a project. I got to show you something that I've been coloring here. Where'd it go? What'd I do with it? 
Well, that's like me crocheting those uh, pop tops. Yeah, yeah, I you do at once, right? Yeah, I had a whole bunch of thread, you know, bits and bits of thread laying around, not anything to do a big project. And so I just, well, I've got the pop tops. Let's do something. I love that. So far, I love that. It's going to be awesome. And we'll pull that one with the, either the silver or the gold. Um, we're, we will pull the blue one with gold, though. Is it ready? I don't think that umber is crazy at all. It's that other brand. But we've got a lot of stuff going on with the blue. So that's amazing. So gold, yeah. was that the boat? Yeah. Looks the like spray, the, um, cool. I think you said that umber was like for a spray paint. Yeah, but they're the same as they're they're supposed to be the same as the golden high flow. Yeah, uh, and I really only high flow. a couple colors, but I think it's old and it needs a lot of this. Taking, you know, yeah. yeah, I think that's you need a vortex deal. like Fran has. That's really uh, with the first time I saw that I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> she can't. It, it's like me with doing stuff. My hands hurt after so long so i have to keep stopping and starting and whatever and so if she puts her paint bottles on the vortex it mixes it for her it shakes that's it amazing that's yeah so it, cool. it saves wear and tear on her hands don't mess that one up yeah <laughs> i'll yeah. try not to. um thank you deb i i really had so much fun with that rust dying i did and i you know i had a i i don't do a lot of editing it's i'm not tech savvy and you know i edited and spliced three videos together and added music and that was the first time i've done that and somehow the little clip from the beginning the intro where i told you know it was two minutes how it was done i thought i put it in there and it oh. it disappeared so i um, posted that this morning i think it was this morning because somebody said, did I miss something? I, did I miss the process? Um, actually, if I'm not mistaken, and P can tell me this, or Mariah can say, but you can actually pull that video, unlist it, and go back and edit it, edit that back in. I can? Oh, oh yeah. Pretty sure. Well, it, was, it was so much work that, because I don't edit videos. I mean, I know you don't. I, yeah. I did a few, and you wanted to do it yourself, and it's like, you did all right. You I'm did trying. all right, girl. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're doing gold. Yeah, Deb said that was her asking in the comment if you if you forgot something. Yeah, yeah. And so I did repost that little two-minute video. What, honey? She said you could ask me for help. Yeah, he said he'll help me, but he's so busy. I always feel bad. So I've got a couple different colors of gold here. One's lighter, a little bit darker. I'm going to use a different brayer for this because I've got stuff all over my other one. That's the lighter one. I'm trying not to mess it up. Usually mm -hmm. once that high flow is dry, though, it's not going anywhere until you pull mm -hmm. it. You, I mean, you could probably over brayer it, probably. Too much paint, too much paint. Um... We really do need to try the, oh, and make make sure to oil your plate good before you start this, because that helps having the oils on your plate. If it's a little preconditioned first, um, it really helps with the process, mm -hmm. which I did all of mine. And that's how I ended up beginning. <laughs> that's why I started. I couldn't help it. I've been wanting to do this for days. I've, I've been like slapping my hands. Yesterday I had a few doctor appointments and uh, so I was gone all day or I would have probably been at this yesterday. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting mm -hmm. to move in to the office. Oh, okay. Let's see how it looks. Give it a moment here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you've had a busy week. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I do. I am, oh, that darker gold. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, so building cool. camping, what's that? It's very deliberate, and I want to see it pulled. Oh, no, oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no
No, 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 no. Not no. yet. It ripped a little. Oh. Should have used the cardstock. I could always turn it over, I guess. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know why it's doing it right there. You may have to glue that piece, pull that piece up and glue it down. It's going to be hard it. to get that up. Yeah. I I, you know it. what? I'll put a leaf over it. Oh, man. That is so pretty. It really is. I like it. They're almost DNA strands. They're twisted because I didn't follow a pattern. I didn't do it the same each time. That oh, I'm I, I do quilting and sewing, and what I think of is the um oh gosh, I can't think of the name of them. I hate this COVID fog stuff. It's a trim, it's a chev chevron like trim. A gimp? Um the the squid zigzag? Line. Yeah. There's zigzag. a trim. There's a fabric trim that's zigzag like that. I have some up here somewhere. I love this new round plate. I can't get enough of it. And my whole project kind of around uh, surrounds this plate. The tape is not pulling it up. And I don't know why. I don't know what was there. Should have used a thicker paper. All right. Well, let's fix it with a leaf. It's time. I think we mm -hmm. should do that real quick. All right. Let's see. It could be that spot right there just didn't get enough of the gold or the wet paint to. Yeah. Thank or, you, Nikki and and Deb. That's so sweet. And Evie. Yeah. Or it didn't get left on long enough. Nisi says she used cardstock on a pole and didn't leave it on long and it ripped. It Isn't happens. that funny how that it, happens sometimes? Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it's got a mind of its own. That's mm -hmm. part of the joy of the gel plate, the mind of its own. But sometimes it's naughty. <laughs> and sometimes quite often, good. Well, well, and quite <laughs> often the the pulls that you have, you're going to be using for collaging yeah. or yeah. So mm, you work around that little tear. It still has value. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, they always do. Okay, so let's use some of these lacy leaves here. Mm -hmm. let's get a few of those. That almost looks like a moon, doesn't it? I want to use this favorite one here. Um, so I want to use that. And I'm going to use this one. It's got nice big holes in it. And then we'll turn the plate upside down so we can have the proper placement that we want. So I'm using some smaller ones here. Oh, this one's really good. See that? It's totally eaten away. It almost looks like the shape of a of a different kind of leaf. That's amazing. Mm. Okay. So it's blue. So let's use let's use green. Should we use like a light like a a lighter green on it? Let's see what I got. I have. I could use one of these. Got this one. Ugh, I don't like that one. I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, this one. <laughs> I have. Let's. Oh, I have a metallic -y one. That one. Uh, by the way, I have a photo of how this came in the mail. The bottom was broken out, and paint was all over inside the bag. Um, it, actually, it was a Walmart delivery. It wasn't the mail, like where they brought oh, yeah. it from oh, the yeah, store. That, yeah, yeah. And it, there was green paint on everything. And it's I taped it up. Should we use that one? That no, metallic? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm, right. mm -hmm. Let's do it. It's such a pretty color. So now we're going to use that butcher paper, too, because we'll do that to pick up around it. I'm afraid every time I squeeze this, it's going to squeeze more into the bottom. I'll be scraping the tape at the end. Oops, give that up. It's an interesting color. Is it a chartreuse? That has more yellow in it, doesn't it? 
Mm -hmm. I think so. so. There's that lousy lousy echo. echo. Sorry, everyone. everyone. I'll shut up then. (laughs) It's it's not you. It's you echoing. echoing. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. It's random. Random. Speaking of random. Let's use this paper. To get in all these little spots. Get those veins on there too. I love this one with these holes. It would make a good stencil right there. <laughs> right Quick wrap. Time. It's Mar- Margolo. It's Rick Rack. I was thinking of that. Oh, was, yeah, I have some old stuff that was. Yeah, it's very old, and I treasure it. See, I used the stuff from the seventies, the Rick Rack that we don't know what to do with, or the the hem hem, hem tape, the one that's quadruple folded and it's like cotton. I use that for the rust dye, and I love it. I didn't think I would ever use that stuff. All right, let's see what we got here. So there's a little transfer happening from the previous paint that was on those, and I love it. All right, let's see what we got here. See if we can use... I'd have to fill it in. That that wouldn't hurt, I guess. Oh, crap. Let's go this way with it. I'm going to have to do a second green because it's enough. not opaque enough, I don't think. See how it's, I mean, it's pretty. You can see it, but it almost looks gold on that blue. Don't rip on me. There you go. See, it doesn't, unless you tilt it, you can't really see it. Looks gold. Yeah, I like it's fine. It. I'm it's leaving. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Hawaii, Hawaii. It's fine. <laughs> Do it with something a bit, a bit lighter and more opaque. It's Bill's fault. He got in my head. How are you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are pretty. Okay, so let's try to miss the spots that we used before. If I can see them, whatever's left, and I have to have that. Okay. I have to go on this one. might end up with something really gorgeous here that I could never redo this uh, butcher paper <laughs> if I keep doing this. I'm alternating three pieces here, so. Hi, Candy. Hey, Candy. Thanks, Evie. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Thanks, ladies. Well, oh, look at those colors like together. Look at that. Isn't that cool? What? That looks really cool. They laid nicely. That paper yeah. looks like it has a, a sheen on it. It does, but it's not wax, which is really weird. Okay, now I can't fuss around as much this time. That's All right. Cool. And if I need to go in and touch that up with a colored pencil, I can. Let's see what we got. So this paper is a little bit wet now because we've painted on it over and over, like right in a row. Let's see what's happening here. So I'm going to leave this for a minute and let it do its thing. And hopefully it doesn't stick. (laughs) Hopefully. I don't know what made it do that. It's the same paper. It's the Pacon paper I usually use. It's just printer paper. 
All right, let's go to our, this one. So we're rotating, rotate, rotate. So we've got this. It's dry. It looks wet, but it's dry. Now we're going to go this way, right? So we've got green. Okay, you guys pick the color. Well, it needs to be see. dark, but it needs to be dark. So it's green. So the burnt umber didn't work. No, I do have raw umber though in the golden. It's like nobody knows how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> they either burn it or they leave it raw. There's the raw. It's in my head. <laughs> it does. I. Uh, but those are the best colors, aren't they? The burnts and the raws. Well, I, yeah, I kind of like those. My favorite is yeah. the. Uh, yeah. Anybody got a color suggestion here? I use the phthalo yeah. green. I've got a couple different blues here. Mm, you could go with Maybe blues that. or uh, magenta. That might be nice. Oh, that might be nice. What do you guys think? Magenta? Mm -hmm. Did the mm -hmm. chat stop? No, they're just, they're, 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 they're thinking. They're, yeah, they're thinking. They're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. All right. All right. We will do this. How about that? So magenta, we're going to go the other direction. And I want to move it all over so I don't have to zhuzh it too much and possibly mess something up. So I am going to do this real quick to give it, get it all over. Okay. Kelly says she wants to see magenta. All right. You Good got it, choice. girl. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to go this voila, way. you will. <laughs> so you have to do it fast enough. So, because it's going to start crazing right away. So you want to do it fast enough that um, you don't miss this the opportunity to get some lines in there. I gotta get these cleaned. And it the bigger the brush, the better. Like a chip brush is great. Like for a regular cheap chip brush, um, you could probably use um, one of the the things with the with the edges on it, like the plastic scraper things. I have some, but they're so sharp, I'm afraid to hurt my plates. They're made for clay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the, the plastic is sharp. Mm -hmm. But this kind of brush works great. Just something that makes it happen fast. Let's flip it over and look at it, shall we? Do we want to do that? <clears throat> and then the color we pick it up with will make a huge difference, too. Oh, yeah, it's a grid. And sometimes you get bigger ones. Like, this one was really weird. And I think it was because I had a lot more paint on my... Hold on, I'm getting it. I think I had a lot more paint when I did... There it go. This one. And then I picked it up with the green. Maybe we should replicate that too. That's a good one. Um, yeah. My chat all of a sudden just went bloop and I got a whole bunch. So I Oh, yeah, it froze. The chat froze. There you go. Um, uh, so let's see. Nisi said magenta. Trish said yes. Evie said magenta. I saw Kelly's where it says I want to see magenta. The others didn't show up. Um, Evie said, Nisi loved your cat, ATC. Deb C says, wow, that is fat. Look at it go. And I think it was about your brush. Oh. Nisi, Nisi said, thank you, Evie. Do you want me to make you one? I'll, okay, I'll send you a card. Okay, sounds good. Wow, okay, that's our conversation. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. All right, so okay. I want to pull this and then do our leaves in, uh, different, la in different layers. So... If it's dry, it needs another moment. See, I feel like we have some similar colors going on over here, too. And this one, we were going to pull with... Is it dry enough? I think... So. Oh, yeah. They always look wet. So it's, you know, like there might be a little bit wet there. These are... 
Where's our round? Let's pull that. I just, we do want to make sure that it's dry. So let's pull the round. This should be ready and hopefully not stuck. Thanks, Trish. What? She said, thanks. What, uh, woo, great catch up, Violet. I just <laughs> missed a whole bunch. It's like all of a sudden my screen just zipped. Oh, I like that. See, I just like that that blue. I just love the way that. I do goes. too. And the marks you made on it. Just amazing. Well, and the more opaque your layers are, the more, le the less sheer they are, the more likely they are to pop. So maybe sometimes it's good to put a white down first so that it has a white background so the the colors pop on there, which we could do on one of these with the leaves. Thank you, Evie. I like you guys too. Oh, <laughs> you guys are all swell. Yeah. I'm glad um, you're here hanging out with us. I wanted, I was wondering on that blue one, because um, you uh -huh. did do the leaf, the lacy leaf on that one. Uh -huh. um, there's room for more on there though, isn't there? Or you, uh, you, we could, we could, well, I remember I staggered them. So we have yeah. some gold leaves. We have the green leaves. We could do one more layer and I'll put, I could put white down first and then the color. So I would just line it up. Mm -hmm. That's very possible. I mean, I really like that one, but I think it just uh -huh. it, it could use just like, a little bit more of the leaf the leaf how about, how about one in the middle and and i put white down first and then we line it up with some i'm not understanding what you mean by putting white down first but i'd love to see okay. what you mean um let's do that let's use i've got to choose the leaf we want here do we want to use this beautiful one here okay so what i'm going to do is put some white paint down I mean, this works with other projects. I've never done it on a gel plate, but it should make it, having that white undertone should make it stand out more. Okay. Like it almost gives it a, oh no, there's pink on my thing. Oh, I'm going to have to pull that because I don't want pink. <laughs> I don't, I don't want it. Magenta's fine, but not pink. Never pink. Ew. I won't even use those roll-offs. Let's pull it. Oh, Deb C says, I need to go steal some Monstera leaves from my daughters. Yes, absolutely. If you have those big leaves. Oh, oh, oh. Any kind of work, too. I just went for a little walk around the yard. You could go to a park, pull out some leaves. I mean, right now they're starting to fall, so you might find some really cool ones, too. I have a crab apple tree in the front yard. doesn't have very big leaves, and in the backyard it is mostly evergreens. Or it's in my neighbor's yard and I don't want to trespass. <laughs> um, well, I bet if you ask your neighbor, they don't mind because it's time to go trim the trees right now. Or they start falling anyway. So right now is like a good time to, you know, scavenge for them. Plus, you might get some that have been seasoned like this. I'm just making sure I don't have any pink left. Okay. There we go. No. Now, just down at the bottom, there's... Maybe it's on the back side. It looks like there's still a tinge of pink. There is. Yeah, okay. It's not my eyes. I'm not messing with that. There you go. I wasn't sure if it if I was seeing it I mean, well. That's why I never reach for the magenta, because stuff like that happens. No, it stays. You start yeah. using gesso with it on your plate. Yeah. I just don't like it. There should be more colors in the rainbow, I think. I'm always feeling like I need a, a new color. Let's invent one. Should we invent a new color? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, get a thicker one so we make sure that that is not happening. I have a new one called Cotton Ball. As long as it's not um, a color that's kind of like a, a baby uh, nappy color. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Browns yeah. are good. I like brown. So I only well, need this kind of in the middle. My brain was going to green, but. Oh, that yeah. green, that goose yeah. poop green. Oh, right. there you go. You said it. 
So I'm going to put this down this way. That's what it was. Like that. And then pull another one of these out. One more try. Pick that up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Might do it twice to make sure I don't have other white. Yep, left behind. It, it, it just all of a sudden I got all these. I I'll have fig leaves here on the tree till December ish or the first bad frost. So I leave that till the end. That's what Debbie. Yeah, I, I always feel sad about my fig leaves because they create so much privacy and it's like a wall of fig leaves because you know they grow out of control. So I like to leave them as long as I can, but then I have to trim them off for the following year. I'm just going to make sure that I've got. Yeah. And, and Evie has a good point. The, um, the, the way you're layering, don't you want the color first? Um, no. Uh, oh, you're right. Well, we're, <laughs> we're doing it this way. We're doing it this way. You're so good. Oh, Evie. You. Evie, um, so I'm going to, yeah. what I'm going to do is do a color on there, lay this down the same yeah, way so. again, or maybe I do the leaf. Yes. Yeah, so I was going to say, do, it might be easier to do the, put the it might leaf be. down and might be. layer that and then put it down. Yeah. I've caught it. Evie, Evie caught it. Good Estella God. caught it. Um, Mar <laughs> Margalo caught it. Good job. Oh my goodness. The Blick, the Blick, um, the Black 3.0 is Blick, I think. Uh, Candy says, what? I like that new blue that Fran used the other day from the other guy that makes the Black 3.0. The other guy that makes the Black 3.0. The other 3 guy? Yeah, I don't, I, I, I think it's, unless she's going to paint the leaf and stamp it, I guess. That would work. I am, that's what I'm going to do. Well, but, hi, GP. Use... Hey, Judy. Yeah. How you doing? Glad you're here. Okay, so I'm doing the leaf over here on the side. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. Yep. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm not really looking at the screen. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I didn't realize. Okay. I so wonder now, if it's my internet on because here. I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi up here today. And I'm wondering because all of a sudden there's nothing. And then my chat just starts moving. So that on top. Well, I apologize, sure. everyone, for if I miss any of your comments. Here so we go. We did, did this backwards, and we're going to look at it and see what it looks like. Because if we like it, we'll go with it. Yeah, it might be a whole new technique. Yeah, otherwise we'll just print it on something else. Let's see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, let's Very print it on something else. And if we like it, we can do it again. No big deal. Yeah. No big deal. Let's put it on this. This is one I did earlier when I was just having a play with when I brought the leaves in. Stuart Semple. That's who it was. Stuart Semple. That I other don't guy. I know who that is. Yeah, it's the, he's that other guy. Stuart Semple. Stuart Semple paints. Yep. I've never heard of that. Like, Somebody was paying attention. Is it like Simon says stamp or whatever? No, it's a paint color. It's a paint um, brand. Brand? Brand. Is like it I'm or... curious now. Yeah. I don't have my notebook up here tonight, so it's probably in my notes what she was saying, which is why Blick is the only thing that came to mind. But So is it expensive, ladies? Oh, gosh. Well, we'd have to go look. Yeah. I'm curious. I've never heard of it. Well, that's fun. I'm not mad that's at that. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. It it doesn't show that it's that's pretty. That's really cool. It doesn't show that it's a um that it's a leaf that's been torn. It almost looks or eaten. It almost looks like a leaf that was torn instead of eaten by a critter. Yeah, interesting. That's pretty. Liz says his paint is expensive. Ah, uh, 
I've I've never heard of him. And Deb C says, oh my gosh. Uh, Deb C says, oh my gosh, she just came out with the pinkest pink for Pinktober. Ew. No, no. <laughs> no, no. No, no, we don't do pink. We'd rather have murdery red. Yeah, yeah, red is great. Fuchsia's good, but maybe not. Magenta, pink. not so much, and pink, not so much. I'm going to leave this. Let's do our uh, experiment with water with the acrylic paint to see if we can water it down and get it to craze there on you this. Go. Let's do that. Um, then we can set it aside and, and pull the other plates out because we'll give it a minute. All right, so dark color. I'm thinking this one, because it's super dark, it's really intense color on this one. And it's the phthalo green again, but it's super intense. Or the uh, phthalo turquoise. So we'll mix it with a little bit of water and paint it on the plate and hope it gives us lines and cracks. Well, it's a short trip, Judy P. What? <laughs> Judy P says, she says, trying to go crazy tonight, huh? LOL. And I said, it's a short trip. Oh, yes. Yes. It's a short trip. <laughs> uh, it's from Culture Hustle and he makes his own paint. It was called Easy Klein Blue. A little pricey, but it goes a long way. That's like these ones. This one goes a long way. Just like my. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't used purple. I have a purple that's that crazy intense too. It's the dioxazine and it is super intense because we want to add enough water that it starts to separate because water beads up on the plate. Choose, ladies. Choose. Purple or green? I am I'm, already. I'm green. I'm a green. I'm I'm gonna say green. You say green? I think P if P were here, she'd say purple. But oh see Candy says purple. Deb says purple. Okay, the purples and Nisi <laughs> says purple. All right. Y'all y'all just all over, right. just knock me right out it. of there. Kelly okay. says always purple. I'm going to put this on a palette, which is a paint lid that my water is sitting on over here. Um, it's totally dry. It's from days ago. I could and do that's this. Something. And there's something. You, you're, you're, you're born with the name of Violet, and you're not a giant purple fan. I like purple, and you should love Violet. I would mm -hmm. if it was my name. Of course, mm -hmm. oh, I don't have share, and I, I don't have any share CDs, so I guess... <laughs> I guess that's no, no, oh, no my mom's no, no, name no. was Violet. So, um, yeah, it's yeah, it's a repeat of the same old story that I grew up with a different name. So, when your I mom's name it, is Violet when she was alive, yep, that's her name. I was named after her. I've never heard of that. I've heard of boys doing that, but not girls. Well, I have two sisters older than me, and I guess, um, dad named the first one and. It was kind of like, well, I'm naming them all then. Once he, dad was a narcissist, let me just say. But I'm going to go get some clean water. When you it, tell when your it, story. Yep. Friend called it menopause popo. Yep. So when I came along, the third girl, I guess they thought I was supposed to be a boy. I don't know. But dad said, well, we'll just name her after you. So I got her name. The, the difference is that um, no one hardly... I think I had one aunt that called me Little Vi. Everybody else called me by my nickname. Yeah, and she, my mom had a had a middle name. Her middle name was May, M-A-E. And neither myself nor any of my siblings have middle names because Dad said if the old, if one didn't have them, none of them was going to get it. That's really unusual to not have a middle name. Yeah. Really unusual. Yep. He named the first one and he named her Ruth Bush. That was her name. And he, after that, he said, well, if she doesn't get a middle name, none of them do. I'm just wow. telling you, dad was chintzy. He didn't want to give up anything he didn't have to. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. It's doing it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It is doing it. Um, Deb, my, I have an older brother, um, a very loving um beautiful older brother he's a couple years older than me 
And huh. when I was when I was born, he fell in love with me and he would always ask to hold the baby. He could not say Violet. He could not say my name. So and when he asked to hold the baby, it came out. Can I hold the babe? Oh, I have an aunt, babe. Yeah. Yeah. You've said that. It's not yeah. an uncommon. You no. Know, I, yeah. Um, so, Cute. yeah. So the name I've had since I was probably a week old is babe. And we need like, to use this purple more. Yep. If you say so. <laughs> well, look at that. I'm going to set that aside. Yep. Are you still really close to your older brother? Yeah, he's all I have left. My sister passed away in April. Um, oh. So he's all, it's just him and I, and he lives like 11 hours away from me, but we talk on the phone and solve world problems. And yes, he's, oh, we're still very close. Solving world problems. Mm -hmm. He lives in Nashville, Tennessee, and I live in um, South Central Wisconsin. Yeah, I, Deb, it's so funny because I was saying before that um, I have nieces and nephews that I think, I swear, they didn't know what my real name was until I went on Facebook. And if you go to my Facebook page and you go to the very top and look at the address, the, the link, it's not, the page says I'm Violet Johnson, but if you go up to the link, it says my birth name or when I, you know, my nickname is Babe Bush. That's how I read it. That's how I started out on Facebook. Okay, I'm going with gold this time. Going with gold. And this is a background for our leaf prints. So each one of these that I'm doing like this, I mean, that's kind of the plan. Um, I don't want to transfer color here. I have a couple prayers going. I have an invention that I need to get a hold of Jelly Arts about. Um, and I'm going to tell you about it uh, because I can't even believe that it worked. These. Do you remember these? We all bought them when they were on TV. And um, uh, they were for lint. And they came in a oh, big... Yeah. Well, mine were never quite sticky them. enough. I never used them. They've sat under my sink or, you know, been whenever, wherever. Um, so I actually thought, well, I wonder what would happen if I put it on the gel plate, you know, pull off a print and roll it onto something else, you know, or pull off an area that I don't like or add some of one gel plate to some of another gel plate. Um, they need to make those with the jelly stuff because it's really similar on a roller. I think it would be so fun to play with because you could combine some things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to or it would be difficult. Let's look at it. <laughs> those lines in there. You can't see, I mean, there's, there's, it's very linear. It's not curvy, but you can't see that I went this way with this one. It looks like it all went this way. It all looks something. like, well, yeah, on our, my screen, it does. It looks like it's all going in the same direction. It does. Isn't that weird? And the more paint you put on there, the bigger the crazing is going to be too. I this was a very small amount of paint. Um, I probably could have put heavier paint on and had more uh, dramatic results. But look at that. That's cool. It, I mean, it's shimmery. I don't know if you guys are getting the shimmer there. The gold. Oh, it's beautiful. I have a little leftover here. So what do you guys think of my uh, gel, gel plate on a roller invention? Eh? Well, um, Deb C says, gel, gel press, are you listening? Yeah, I thought yeah. maybe I should email them. 
Maybe I should do a video first and share the video with them. There you go. Of, of how it could be used. I just think it would be another fun thing to add to our uh, yeah. to our stuff. And then they can send me a free one. That That is really crazy. It is. Okay, so I needed to use up most of that purple, and I did. So we're going to set that to the side. And we'll put a larger amount on next time, see if we can get more like the other one that has the large crazing. Let's see if this is dry. This should be dry. This is very murdery. Yes, it, it, you know what? It almost looks like a bouquet of roses. Oh, it does. Or or a murdered bo bo bouquet of roses. Bouquet of roses. <laughs> yep. So yep. What, are, what are you going to... Oh, okay. So what do you think? Uh, I think if you put... I think if you put watered paint on there, you're going to move it. Well, no, I'm not putting watered paint on okay, here. Okay, we're done here. We, we need a pull, pull now, it, right? Yeah. And then we'll um, decide if it want, if it wants a focal point or not. Hmm. Wouldn't this make great ATCs, though? I mean, what a great way to start. Oh, well, then I have to suggest poiple. Ah. Pull it with poiple. You think uh -huh. it'll show up with the... Do you think that's enough contrast with the red and black? I don't know. I was being a smart ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Never mind. Sorry. Smart, smart Alec. Okay. It's, sorry. Smart Alec. I don't care. I don't. Well, I don't want you to. We get in uh, trouble on. I don't. On, I, don't on, I, I wouldn't think so, but oh, I hope not. Mm. <laughs> I uh -oh. don't. I don't think so. I think they have to be paying attention. Okay, as Fran would say, too late. Um, yeah. Teal. Let's see. A good idea. Judy says she thinks your idea is wonderful. Uh, oh, thank you. For the do a video first and then contact and then them. Deb contact them. Says, yeah, Deb C says pull with a goldy yellow. Judy says green. Liz says go light. Candy says teal. Judy says hunter green. Evie says ochre. Y'all are so like. So that's two different yellows in there, you guys. So yeah. I will choose a yellow. How's that so, for the So voting? we're going yellow or, or a green, a type yeah. of green. Yeah, I think a hunter green would be too dark. Too dark. Uh huh. Teal? And you I did pull a teal up earlier. Yeah, but two two people suggested a yellowish color, mm -hmm. the golden yellow or the ochre. Mm -hmm. So maybe we pull it with, let's see what I've got in yellow. Judy says, I'm just saying, Judy says, no yellow. <laughs> no yellow. No yellow. But Kelly says, oh, good we... yellow. <laughs> gotta, what if we mix... pulled it with, let me, I'm looking around here. Let's see. Mixed, re mixed reaction here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. Um, that is honey brown. Um, that is glorious gold. Um, well, those are a high flow. Oh, how about one of these ones? These one of these Lumex metallics, like in the in this one. It's a little bit different than my other. Candy says buttercream yellow. Evie says gold. Kelly says goldie. Evie says Nicolay's gold. Yeah, see now they've all Nico Azel Gold yeah. is supposed to get red. Yeah. They've all changed their minds on us. Mm -hmm. Have they? Yeah. The anything that's darker is not gonna we're not gonna see the impact of those. So it needs to be a lighter color regardless. Um and there's a lot of yellowy requests there. I do have a I do have a daybreak yellow that's kind of buttery. Um that might look cool. I don't know if it'll still read Halloween. Um, I have a light gray might be a cool color. Deb C says line up the yellowish things and pick one. Um, you uh, you put enough red right down, everything looks murdery. Yeah, that's true. But it's hard to tell with my discolored plate too. All oh, right. That, yeah. Okay. Overthinking it. 
I have, well, I'm thinking about what I have down here. I hate it. And guess what, ladies? I get to move back up to my art room in a minute. I mean, it's cooled off. So we'll be, uh, I can start hauling my stuff back up. That sounds like a chore, but you know, but you know, <laughs> how about one of these ones that I made? Oh, there there's like go. that, that taupe color. There's a yellow. Yeah. See, I think Judy's seeing the yellow plate and the nice yellow one. on the plate is just the discolored plate. It's yeah. Not, it's not a color that's down there. So no, it's not. I don't know if Judy realized that. How about this one? Taupe. Judy Here's says the taupe. taupe. Okay, we're just going way off. Taupe. Taupe. Here we go, Taupe. Judy333 is here. Hi, Judy. Judy. 333. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Thank you for but being taupe, here. Yes, the taupe is pretty. I kind of like, I'm leaning towards that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do taupe. There's the taupe. Okay. All right. So I've got to get a palette knife out here. That's the only problem with having them in these containers. You got to mess with it. I'm going to put enough paint on there. I hope to pull it all. We'll see. And this is a homemade paint, mind you. More. Little bit. There you go. Oh, Deb says, now that it is too late, ombre. <laughs> <laughs> too late. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, Candy said, the color of the plate really throws you off, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does. Really, when I saw it, I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. And the red went really well with it. And then I realized that the yellow wasn't yeah. part of the paint. Process. No, it's, it's not. Yep, yeah, it's just a discolored. Just discolored after a while. Yeah. yeah. And I use multiple mediums on mine. So with the ink, um, that happens. Should we flip it over and see what it's going to look like? Should minus, we really, minus the yellow. Really? Do you want to share? Oh, minus the yellow. How do you minus the yellow? You can't unsee In your brain. It. You've got to do it in your brain, man. No, <laughs> not tonight. No, man. I haven't had enough sleep. <laughs> I had a little too much. I, I'm worn out from all those appointments yesterday, and then I slept longer than I usually do, which means I slept eight hours because I usually get like six and I woke up feeling like an elephant stuck slept on my head. <laughs> I don't know why. <gasps> you know what? For me, I think it is. Well, part of it is I know my husband's going away next week for a couple nights and at least one night we have to wait and see. Um, and then the week after that, we're not sure, but it's also the change of season. Yeah. Yeah, I always that does even in me. spring. I my body feels it, and I just feel more fatigued and still wet. Still wet. Still wet. Um, there is some uh, a way we could still do mess with that while it's so wet, though. By oh, the way, God. Candy has a very helpful tip for you. Oh, what's that? Put the lid back on that taupe. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> that is very Thank helpful. Candy. And Evie says alcohol inks killed the, the gel plates. Yeah. Uh, Judy says the same thing. Yellow alcohol ink will discolor plates. I keep plates for use with alcohol inks. Probably only. I really love my alcohol inks. So I think that. Um, you need a dedicated plate for them. Right, right, right. But that's hard because I. I think I want more round ones, honestly. We need to recreate this one. Yeah. And that was done with the burnt uh, sienna and the raw uh, uh, raw sienna. Um, and I did, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to share. But I'm looking for something here real quick. Okay. Okay. 
Hold on, everybody. She's looking for something. Hold on, I'm doing it. I'm just She's doing, doing it. it. I wanted to see if I had one that I had started. Because this is really wet still. But there's no reason why I can't use this like this if I put it on something that's already got a background color. Because then it's like pulling it. So we'll see. For impatience sake. Okay. <laughs> oh, Evie says she never got the recipe for the secret sauce. Oh, I don't have it in front of me. Um, secret I sauce. It is uh, alcohol, uh, uh, rubbing alcohol, and it's mm -hmm. got to be 70 or higher. 90 is better. 90 is a lot better. And um, uh, uh, hand sanitizer. It's about half and half so that it'll still squirt out a thing, but it doesn't squirt out and blobby. Yes. Yeah. So that was a metallic and it was mixed together. Um, uh, I think it was some of this and some gold or silver and gold, one or the other. I'll leave it for a minute and we'll grab the other plate. Yeah, Judy. You still she, see that um, leaf. If you see, if you watch um, her last stream from two weeks ago, she pulled out the, the round plate. I really like so it. Fun. I I really love it. She um she wants to know it. Um, candy ass is that the eight inch round plate? Yes, and yeah. I I think my future additional plates will be round plates after because I've enjoyed composing on it. I mm -hmm. think um, more than I mean, and I use this shape all the time but the round plate makes me think a little harder because i have to compose in a circular fashion in my brain so i i don't know something just happens welcome back mariah hey, mariah i think i want the six and the four well i was gonna say i want the small ones like fran has um and i just bought a new one um not too long ago a, f uh, a couple months ago so and i haven't even broke it open yet uh oh well, well i haven't fun. i haven't been gel plating i've been um putting oh, together yeah. that, that uh polymer clay book so now i've got an idea for a new journal cover with using um gel plate and fabric so i'm going to go with that That's and fun. uh yeah, but I also want, so the new plate will get used for that. Um, but I also want some of the smaller plates like Fran has because I want to do like stenciling, not stenciling, um, transferring. I want to use the little, little bitty plates to transfer onto preprints. Judy 333 has four eight inch round plates. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You bet that receipt opens up the sunshine. What recipe? Recipe. The for the up, for the secret sauce. <laughs> opens, opens up. up opens up the sinuses. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, how did I mean it? Oh, sinuses. I'm pretty far away from that. I hear. I saw sunshine. <laughs> yeah, Deb, that would be my thing is watching um watching for sales for the little plates and for the yeah. round plates. I'm I'm definitely um my Medicare kicked in, so yeah, so my uh my uh retirement is is a little bit less than oh that's cool. That's there's you tilt got it, a purple tent. Yeah, tilt it a certain way. What's on there? Little what? Do I see little leaf print on there? There, no. I well, I don't know. I didn't put any little leaves down. On the right side, there's. Are a, you talking about this? Yeah. I don't know why it did that. I haven't had any little leaves out. But look, now I've got this, and it's the same. Wow, that's silver, gold, and this looks uh, like a metallic purple because it was that dioxazine purple. And it 
you know, kind of takes over with the silver. Yeah. Okay. Pretty. Where's the one that like four times already you said we've got to recreate? Oh, yeah. Let's try to do that. Yeah, let's try to do that. Let's clear off the rectangular one or actually maybe we could do a maybe we could do a round one. I should get something on this plate before I before I get another one on my table though because it's right here, you know. So let's um let's do some leaves on this one in this color. Just to get it started. And then we'll do that next on the round. I, I hope the round's ready. Trish says, I'm hearing burl eyes, silver and gold. Oh my God, I haven't heard that <laughs> in forever. Isn't that on um, one of the Christmas movies? I can't remember. Mm. Um, one of the claymation ones. Let's use one of these really lacy ones I haven't tried yet. Let's use and now that. you've triggered me, Trish, because whenever whenever I start thinking that far back, there's another song that comes to mind that I used to sing all the time, and it was by Arthur Godfrey. And if you don't know who Arthur Godfrey is, now I'm showing my age. I don't know who that is. Oh, jeez. Well, in my defense, I, I'm not that old. I grew up with my parents. Um, in music. Had, yeah, me too. Yeah, we had a variety of music in the house. Dad played guitar with his buddies mm -hmm. on Friday, Saturday night, and mine so did too. Mom watched Lawrence Welk and and um and the Arthur Godfrey show and and Ed Sullivan and oh, that's cool. Yes. Wow. Um, and that oh. the song was. Candy, the song was um, the Too Fat Polka. Evie, you're you're older than me. I just turned 65 a few, well, it's been over a month now. Last month, I turned 65. All right, we're going to leave this for a minute. <gasps> no way. What? Judy said, I had a date with Arthur Godfrey's son way back when. He was a lousy oh. first date. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's crazy. I want to. So, so it, oh, bless your heart. Um, well, and I don't mean that in the Southern way. I mean that in a good way. Um, so he set you up for everything was an improvement after that, right? <laughs> oh. And this is more of that wet, that, that butcher paper, right? Yeah. And then I just took that wet leaf because it had paint on it still. I wanted to yeah. see if I could get it to come off on there and, and leave its veins behind on that shape. But I only got a little bit of transfer. A little bit, yeah. It wasn't very fast because it was an afterthought. That's okay. All right with that. Okay. So we want to do that on the round plate. Where's my round plate? And the thing you it is you remember it, Judy. You rem it, it's it. It was so long ago, according to you, but and yet you still remember it. It's prominent in your mind. That is beautiful. Oh, I it like did that not one. do what we planned because it was so wet, so it splattered out. But I love it. I don't know what you see, but right off the right off the bat, I see a a, a tiger face or a, a, a an animal face. There's two eyes yeah. and a and a nose and a chin. This one? Nope, nope, back the way you had it. See right there and there and there and there and there. See where I pointed? See all what? that? Oh my gosh. Does anyone uh -huh. else see it? it it's, it's Are these a, the eyes? Yes. Is this and the mouth? That's the chin area with the mouth, yes. And then right above huh. what that is, there's a little splotchy part that could be a nose. Well, if you get your pencil out, you could probably do it. Yep. Um, let's see. Mariah and Liz say they see frog eyes. <laughs> Judy I says, love what's happening here. Judy says a monster puffer fish. I could go with that too. I could see oh, that. I can see that. Like this is the mouth and it's open and it's, yeah. Huh. That's really cool. What it did. Margalo says she sees a cat smoking a cigar. Hmm. I see the I'm cigar. I'm gonna go with that. Now. That's amazing. 
<laughs> yeah. Deb C says, this reminds me of our high school light shows with a Pyrex pie plates and oil and food coloring projected up on the wall behind the band. I never saw anything like that. Deb I C. have not Deb seen C. anything like that either. That's That sounds really cool. Yep. Judy's right. Crazy man on the moon. It. I'm just going to pull it with some white really quick. And on some of that butcher paper. This white is the, the Sergeant Art acrylic. And it's not very opaque. It's not very pigmented. It's crappy paint. Yep. But, I mean, it's a big bottle of it. And I was, like, almost out of white when I ordered it way back when. And, I mean, it's a big bottle. It was cheap. And I'm just pulling this. That's all I'm doing. I need to get that purple palette out of my way. Because it's Evie, are head. you laughing too hard and you're going to cause an asthma attack? What's going what? on, woman? It was the smoking cat, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Margalo says she totally sees the puffer fish. I see the crazy man on the moon too. You okay, Evie? Do you need me to come over there and do something? Raise your arms. Pat yeah. on the back. Not yeah. that's for no, that's for that's coffee. for the choking baby. Wait. <laughs> yeah, but she says she's gonna have an asthma attack. Oh no, don't do that. Where's Trish? Do you have an inhaler? I have an inhaler for, you know, just such moments when I have allergies. Was it because that, that pole was so beautiful and you couldn't breathe? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make her laugh harder and she's going to have another asthma attack. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, it just keeps on giving. <laughs> Oh no, you wouldn't you wouldn't die by the time I got there. You would be so joyfully ex oh and, and ecstatic to have me come visit. It would keep you alive longer. Yes. yes that's how it would be. That's exactly how it would be. Yes. That purple that keeps on giving. There you go. It doesn't want to keep well, it's not magenta. Yeah, that's that gives like, pink, and I don't want that. So that's ever. how we do it. Did everybody get a good uh, look at her hair color. Pretty cool. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Everybody at my doctor's office liked it yesterday. The nurses thought I was cool. I know they did. <laughs> <laughs> you know that for a fact, huh? Oh, yeah. Totally treated <laughs> like a cool person. Really <laughs> no. But. Hmm. Come on, it's the, that purple. I told you it has a lot of pigment in it. It needs more tape. Sometimes you just got to go lay down another color and do another pull. Yeah, that's about what I'm going to do. If it does, this last piece doesn't work. I could just leave it. I mean, <laughs> Judy, Judy P says, don't be doing a face plant pull. I wonder what would happen if I put paint on it and then kiss the plate. If I could get my face what, print well, on a I'm plate. plate. What, what would happen to what? The plate or your face? I wonder what it would look like <laughs> if I squished my face like on glass. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what Wouldn't that, that would awesome? look like, but I'd really love to see your face after. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'd be willing to do that in the name of science. <laughs> <laughs> oh no e oh evie has to pee <laughs> i'm just saying evie you just you got things going on there woman <laughs> oh i'm so glad you're loving it trish <laughs> deb chopped all her hair off before surgery my doc noticed and said i should have gone for electric blue too <laughs> we got to do what we got to do Okay, so I do have all these lovely things to play with later. That purple and green goes nicely together. That purple, though, every time I get it out, I kind of regret it because it keeps on giving. And it's the dioxazine um, acrylic. It's so pigmented and it's runny, so a lot always comes out. Okay, then then what you need to do okay. is... Um, so we're doing this. Something down and, yeah, there you go. Your umbers. That's right. So we're going to go with the same colors. And that was 
the it was either the raw sienna or, or the yellow oxide i'm gonna say raw sienna and it was darcy's technique that that started as where because I, I did it in an ombre style and then swished it around so and then pulled it with green oh yeah, oh, yeah darcy's, darcy's not here tonight. tonight yeah so we're gonna do this but we'll do it do it round style trish I says i, I want, want, the want the rub off, off. gorgeous oh thank you like the one I just shared with the purple and mm -hmm. the leaf. Mm -hmm. I guess those papers do work. They have a sheen. I don't know how well they'll glue down. That'll be a test to do. And then I'll tell you. Well, so. isn't gel medium a, a, a an adhesive? So use that. Well, yeah. I mean, I know I can use a gel medium. I'm just wondering with that paper if it's going to peel back up. I guess. Oh, uh, uh, Trish, were you meaning the uh, um, the brayer rub off, the brayer off sheet? Is that what you were talking about? Yes. Look at that. See, that's how she does. I hope I had enough paint on there to get the same effect, because I think that was a lot of paint that I put on that one. Yeah, but it's selling. It's crazy in there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. totally crazy. It's yeah. just smaller lines than I want. Yep. What That's what I thought, Trish. Trish was the rub off that she wants is what's under your brayer. What's yeah, that that rub off over there. Oh, this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'll now you've, you've added to it. Yeah, so. I'll quit messing with it if if that's the case. <laughs> I have a I do have an email for you and I can pop this in the email as well and then you can just print it i can put more color on it okay so this is going to have to do its job and then we'll add the green um should we add some leaves to some of these prints that we did and um, while that dries oh we got this one too let's pull this this one pull 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 That one's going to keep on giving. Looks like fingerprints. It's very murdery. Well, you miss, there's that little bit right where your thumb is that got left behind and up at the top, but I like it. Well, it's not connected. I mean, it's, it's, uh, the paint was probably a little thicker right there. Yeah. So it's like, see, do you see, does everybody see how that plate is yellow, still yellow? So it wasn't. So she forced us to use our imagination of what is not all I see right now. Is two, <laughs> what I see right now is two boobs and a belly button. Okay. That's a big belly button. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah. Maybe it's a, it's a Picasso breasts. That's what it is. It's something yeah, he it's, would do it, it's with a, like five breasts because he was weird like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I, you're I not at breasts. all. Yeah. No, no, I'm not weird at all. I mean, <laughs> I've been to a Picasso exhibition. Like, it's um, I, like I really it. like it. I think it left some of this behind because the paint was a little thicker there. But that is okay. It looks like fingerprints and swirls. Let's see. We have some comments. This is looking very mysterious. Ooh, so I, look at that. Can you guys see that cra those cracks right there? Kelly it, says, go oh, ahead. Looks like crackle paint right there on the edges. We can't see it. Oh, I'm going to have to get a picture of that and share it. Kelly says hurricanes. That's a Ooh, lot. Yeah. It must be New Mexico Fluffy. or Florida. Um, Deb C says distressed roses at the cemetery. And <laughs> candy. Yeah. The candy cat's smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> And Candy says, oh, the taupe worked well. Looks like the ends of those round haystacks. Oh, yeah. I always say marshmallow fields when they wrap yeah. them in white plastic. I When we're in the, on a road trip, I go, oh, marshmallow fields. Oh, no, 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 no. When when they're out, when they're rolled up like no, that, I call it shredded wheat. And when they've got the oh, white yeah. plastic, it's, um, it's uh, what's the word? Um, 
Oh, this shredded wheat with the white frosting on it. Oh, yeah. frosted shredded wheat. Frosted shredded, <laughs> shredded wheat. That's what they are. I think um, they look like marshmallows. <laughs> Rennie says, hi, Rennie. Hey, Rennie. <laughs> um, amazing imagination. Um, Candy says, or old wood slices, which that yeah. would have been, yeah. I have one that I did like that in those colors. Okay, Kelly has to go. Good night, everyone. Oh, good, good night, night Kelly. Kelly. I mean, uh, I'm glad see. you had a good time. Yeah, <laughs> June says, looks great. Thank you. Wow, we'll, we'll, you we'll put you some leaves look. on this to finish it off. You like that wood look, so I I think that's a that's a uh, nice compliment there. That's yeah. That well, I have one that I did in those colors, but you guys can't see it because it's in a project right now. Mm -hmm. I did share a picture of it though when I did it. I I don't know if you guys remember that. Okay, so I'm waiting for the other one to dry. Where did our five by seven go? Where's the five by seven? I see the, where did I set that one? I don't I'm missing know. a plate. Oh my goodness. It's a baboon scary mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mind when I'm squirreling. <laughs> I gotta, mind what's too. that? Judy says it's her mind when she's squirreling. Squirrel. Oh my gosh. I was so bad at the doctor's office yesterday with the squirrel. I was oh. telling six stories at the same time. <laughs> it's like you go in and you've got to catch up with however long it's been since you've seen them. Tell them what's going on in your life without telling them what's going on in your life because they're not counselors. But and you, you need to do it before your number gets called. Yeah. Physically. yeah. So it's it's always ah it's always so stressful. Look Ooh. at that. Wow. Hold it up higher. We can't see it. Not closer. Not closer, but higher on the on the. Like closer to your paints. There you go. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. The other way. Oh, I love Come it. On. Oh, I love that. Look at that leaf. You can see all the little veins yeah. right there. Oh, it's good. Oh, wow. That one's that one's really nice. Okay, we have some comments here. Candy oh. says, great. Deb C says, okay, that's a winner in my book. Oh, um, Mariah you. says, nice. Trisha says, oh my God, Sharon, I think that is the highlight of the night. Oh, we can, let's top that. Should we oh. top that? Mm -hmm. Let's top it. Yeah. I we should top can. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's do it. I think maybe we could put some white or some black on this one, but let's get something on. Look at me with my plates all over the place. I've got them stacked, got them everywhere. Can't have bare plates. We got to put something on them. How about we go for, we'll do our leaf on the small one. This one, let's get something on it to craze um, to get it started. And let's use a lot of paint this time and get our bigger, um, you know, because that's what we're trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. We've got it started on here and it's still drying. Mm -hmm. Let's use a dark color this time. And we'll use more paint. Oh, Evie's breathing again. She came back and oh, said, good. wow. <laughs> said, wow God, to that. that's, that's not a lot of words, but she must still oh, be breathing. Yay, so Evie. glad you can breathe. Yeah. Hey, Judy so says that is beautiful. And Candy says what you said. You. Go for it. And then I'm going to use a sepia. But we're using more paint this time. I'm not, I'm so frugal with all my supplies that I end up telling myself, why, why did you just do that? Because I get frugal with my stuff, you know, like, oh, this paint is expensive. I don't want to use too much of it. So, or, or this glue or, and there are some things I don't even need to do that with. It's like cheap stuff and it's dumb. I, I the frugal part of me does that a lot. Go ahead. Oh, I, I know that part. Like I said, especially since yeah. Medicare took over. Um, Judy P sa suggests sandwich the plates and do pulls. Ooh, and I was going to ask that, Trish, and I didn't want anybody to, to think I was being too personal. But Trish said, I gave her mouth to mouth. Yay! <laughs> He's breathing. I'm so glad you're breathing. However you got there. 
Patricia's got the good air and she's she's not she, it wasn't a long wait was it nah oh good wait a more go, Trish. I love that we're gonna set this off to the side and this doesn't take too long to dry I mean you guys have seen the high flow dries so fast oh yeah I think that's gonna do that okay now let's get a leaf on here I'm, I'm in like an art frenzy right now. Yep, go, go. It feels like my whole week has been an art frenzy. Like throwing stuff all over, being an emotional artist. I uh, pollocked all over the place. So except for <laughs> yesterday, it has been a very, very busy art it, it week has for been. you. Yeah, Nothing yeah. wrong with that. It's been wonderful, but I stress myself out when I start doing big projects like that and start getting piles. Because I, you know, had a station where I was rust dying and a station where I was working on my, um, my uh, collaboration project, and then well, another. I was gonna say, yeah, that, that's what kicked it in. Is you thought you were running out of time on uh -huh. the collab project, uh -huh. and you had all this arty energy. <laughs> extra time. <laughs> yeah, it was all that extra energy that you. Yeah. you yep. Yeah. Yep. That's what happened. Okay, so let's go with on here. We want a super opaque color. Because I want the veins to show. Want it? I mean, and we already have a dark color, so we either need to go like black to let it stand out, or even that maybe the dark green again, or a lighter color might be that one right there that shows that's going to yeah. show a lot because this is a nice opaque color. Hi, are you guys? How are you feeling about this, guys? I, Think we I, can do it? I like add, that one. Add mm -hmm. some drama. All right, let's do it. We're going to use some more of these really lacy leaves. I got to remind me not to set my papers down on the plates that are drying because I've got three plates out drying. <laughs> I will peel my paint right up. <laughs> oh, two oh, words from words. Evie this time. She says, I love okay. it. You, you said <laughs> drama, and immediately I'm hearing the, the song from Phantom of the Opera. Mm, drama. I don't know any, I, and I know a lot of uh, sort of the, theatrical stuff, um, like in specific plays, but I am not as familiar as Phantom of the, with the Phantom of the Opera as I am with some others, um, which is... Oh, yeah. who is the chick I listen to that does Wuthering Heights? Um, oh, uh, uh, Pat Benatar does a song called Wuthering Heights that I absolutely love. No. It's very high for her. Somebody jump in and, and tell me who is it that does Wuthering Heights? She's, she's almost operatic. Kate Bush. Is it Kate Bush? I wonder if it's a remake of the Pat Benatar song. Because it was know. not a very well-known song of hers. Yeah. It was on the B side, and I just love it. You and would, very I high. Think you would like Kate Bush. Is she country? No. I'm shy away from that. No. I've been listening to a lot of um, S.J. Tucker, and I know I've posted um for mm -hmm. a, on my facebook group um but it really really gets my motor running when i'm feeling low um and she makes me feel like a strong woman i think she's probably a feminist um she's probably i i mean i know she does a lot of concerts and a lot of sort of active proactive sort of stuff okay um strong woman stuff you know Deb C is correct. I like Kate Bush doing Wuthering Heights, but it's Sarah Brightman that did um, uh, Phantom of the Opera with Antonio Banderas. I've watched it, I don't know how many times. I didn't know that it was a movie with Antonio Banderas. It's not a movie. It's it, it's a uh, it's on stage. Oh, really? It's, it's a theater. Yeah. With, it's I didn't theater. know he did stuff like that. Now you know. Yeah. He has a he has a really nice voice, but her voice is a really nice face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go go to YouTube and look up Sarah Brightman doing Phantom of the Opera with Antonio Banderas. It it I love watching it. But um Kate Bush doing Wuthering Heights. 
Yeah, I don't know how old it is, um, Deb. It's the one I've got brought up here is from two years ago, it says. So. There it is. Look at that. Let me see. Let me come back to you. Oh, well, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh. So I'm holding it at the right angle so that you can see. I mean, because it's hard with the metallics not in when you're not in person uh, or on this camera, at least. Look at but, the veins that show up uh -huh. on the leaves. That is so... Yeah. I love those leaves. Both of these are companions yeah. and it's different leaves, too. Wow. What paper is that? Is that the Paycon paper? This is just cardstock. Um, oh, or oh. this one is the one that I bought. I think it's either the cardstock or the one I bought that that called itself chipboard, but it was definitely not chipboard, and it came really thin. Yeah, that's what it is because yeah. it's a little bit bigger than regular cardstock. Oh man, I could see those as journal pages. Yes, absolutely. Like folded in half or covers. You guys don't know I'm actually working on something you're going to see soon. Yeah, we're, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Well, let's see. Uh, Deb C says, clap, clap, clap. So she Aww, got applause for her. Trish <laughs> sent you hearts. Evie says Aww. delicious. Candy sent you hearts. Oh, and thank Evie, you, Evie. Evie's getting more words out now. So she's upright and doing better. She says, I like the gold one. <laughs> oh, you're upright. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's okay. another thing you guys could do, and I think it might be oiling your brush because that would create a crazing sort of effect with the paint. If you dipped your oil, your paint in a little bit of oil, it might be a fun experiment to get some of your non-crazing paints to craze. Um, so look, That's let's see, what do we put on this one while we wait? And don't we have some more of the ones like that? Here, let me see. I've got paper everywhere here. It's like a frenzy. Oh, wait. Here's um, this one. This one. Got we got to put something on the other side of this. Oh, Gosh, yeah. Something. Yeah. So let's go murdery again here. Let's go Halloween-y. Okay. Because we have this plate free. And that'll go on the other side. Halloweeny to me is red and black and and uh -huh. red, purple, black and white. yellow, mm -hmm. orange, orange. We haven't orange. used any. Wow, orange and black. Okay, or orange and purple. How about that? Um, orange and black screen is beautiful. I think you topped it though, but close. <laughs> mm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to leave all that grunge on there. I like it. Okay. So I like it. I love it. I want some more. Uh oh, what beeped? Oh, it's the microwave. Bill's oh, eating. I okay. It was here. Huh. So I'm going to. Oh, wait. Do we want to do the orange for the crazing color or orange for the pickup color? I don't know if we can go dark to light or light to dark. I think we have to go dark to light. So it's purple first and not the dioxazine. Gosh, no, not that one. Nope, not again. Not again. How about like, no, it's got a craze. We want a crazing purple. All right, how do we do that? Let me see. I don't have purple in a crazing color here, but I can make it, I guess. We'll just mix it on the plate. I think I can do that. Ombre. So I'm just going to swish it around. Who says orange and purple? Judy P says orange and purple. Evie says purple and green. Green and purple. Those are nice. Mm. Too. Yeah, those, those are okay. Hmm. We're going murdering Halloween. Purple. Well, you guys decide green or orange, or I mean purple or um or green uh, right now. And Deb C says, um, the desiccated rose bouquet may be my fave of the day still. <laughs> and it this is, is <laughs> yep, she says, the midnight prom at the cemetery gave it to the ghosty prom queen. Ooh. 
who who else likes hocus pocus one i love it i uh, yeah it's great i've only seen it once though and oh. <clears throat> which is surprising i love bet midler i should watch it again yeah okay which one am i doing guys the green or mixing a purple i see a purple 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 let's see okay. purple well, okay. Evie's, Evie's, Trish, you got to go help Evie again because she can't make up her, she's. Orange is going to be a pickup here. color or we'll pick up with orange. Yeah. She's, Evie's being fuddle headed. So she might need more uh -oh. oxygen. Uh oh. She said both purple and orange. Um, so there's. So there's, we're going to, we'll pick up with orange though. So yeah, I'm, yeah. what I'm doing is making purple here. Hopefully. Gosh, I hope so. So I'm just going to use a brush this time. Say swirl it. Yeah, I'm going to, well, I, I want to kind of make a, I want this to come into purple here. It's a bad purple, isn't it? There we go. I mean, I, there are other shapes we could use technically. If I Judy says, I do. I, do. I don't know if she married somebody or if she's. Well, I do too, honey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> purple. purple. I do purple. love you. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do that. Purple can get squirrely. You got to mix carefully, says Deb. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to pick, we'll be pulling that with orange for the bottom of that, for the other half of this. All right. I'm going to set it over here. I think we're ready for this guy. Send it to Evie, let her blow on it to dry. That'll get her. Oxygen. There we go. Yeah. I think that would waste her, her available oxygen, wouldn't it? I she would know. be out by then. She didn't have enough. <laughs> Did you guys see these? So in the camp box, because when Bill went camping, we cleaned out the camp box from last year. Hadn't gone yet this year. And there were some paper plates that were squished. Check it out. They they were like, un, they were bent. They were the paper plate holders. So I cut them out before I chucked out the rest. Oh, very cool. Yeah. I like a sunburst. And I like circles, so. All right. This is dry. Okay. Now we got to pull it with green okay. to get that same effect. And it would have been like. Nisi, I hope you caught up. It's this one that we're trying to kind of recreate here. Yep. So I got to figure out which green I use. I kind of think it was one of these ones. Where'd it go? Just had it out. It's hiding. <laughs> oh, it's little, there. Little it's hiding. There. Oh, there it is. I think it's this one or the other one that kind of is the same shade. Where is it? Where is you? Where is you? Where is you? Is that the same thing on the top? I don't know. All right, we're going to use this one. I just used it, so it's out here somewhere. Oh, it's right there. I think that's the one. It's a little lighter. Okay. I uh, usually like everything all gilded and, you know, like gold and jewel toned and all of that. And I really went out this time and got into nature, which, you know, I love nature, but my artwork usually reflects gilded things or the Virgin Mary or, you know, things that are like ridiculously jeweled or jewel toned. Oh, honey, take it to the sink and poke it with a knife, please. You're not supposed to cook it like that. Sorry. Um, so going into nature this time really stretched me as well. And that's why I kind of went on an art frenzy. I mean, I, it really felt like a frenzy. <laughs> there Take it is. To the sink and poke it with a knife. 
He mm. put a bag of uh, lo mein that's oh, supposed to and he didn't, in the yeah. microwave and he didn't poke a hole in it. He didn't poke an aerated. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he put it in for way too long. Okay. Okay. So Evie says, I like that green. What is it? This green is, it it's there. Deco Art Hauser Light Green. And then this one has got a little more blue in it. And it's kind of like the agave from Paper Artsy. Yeah. And it is Mossy Meadow folk art here i'm gonna hold those up so you can see so deco art and folk art and folk art and it's mossy meadow let me fix the glare there mossy meadow folk art and, and hauser green hauser light green which one is on your plate uh that is the hauser light green hauser mossy light meadow green. is a little has a little blue in it i think yeah okay it's got yeah Yep, there you go. Good question. Yeah. Hi, Johnny. Hey, Joni. How you doing? Joni. It's Joni, right? Yeah. Joni, Johnny. Miss Sorson, how about that? We'll just. How's your light green? Yeah, yum. Oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. I was reading the chat. Oh. I wasn't looking. So that's the second time it's happened with this paper. And this is the paper I usually use. Oh. Did I leave it on too long? No, maybe not long enough. Oh, there you go. There you go. Saving it. Okay. You salvaged it. Yeah. You might have to glue it down. Yeah. Joni. Okay. Her name is Joni. Okay. Thank you I, for that. Yeah, I always thought it was Joni. I'm sorry I said it wrong. Okay. There we go. There we go. And that's okay because I'm going to put some leaves over it anyway. Yes. But I Very think we nice. did pretty good there. It is a nice green, isn't it? After all. Yeah. They're good colors together. Yeah. Not as much crazy. Not as much. This is a lot as... more. And I had yeah. just cleaned my plate and oiled it. Oiled so when it, you yeah. oil it, you're going to get bigger crazing. I mean, I could put some oil on it now. It's not too late. It's never too late. I'm going to set that off to the side. Let's let's put a little bit of this on here. This is just mineral oil. Just going to give it a little once over with a brush. This brush. And then we'll wipe it back off. And get some bigger crazing, I hope. And more paint. Okay. I just now got to see your tree of life on your rusty fabric. <gasps> Isn't it wonderful? It Did you see I highlighted? Oh. Yeah. I highlighted that that rusty nail head on there and put it in the circle where the sun yep. where the moon is. Holy and God. then did a horizon line um, behind the tree with the one of the stripes with the rust. Awesome it's placement. So fun. so fun. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to wipe that back off. Just let it let it on there for a minute. We're going to put some more paint on it this time. The high flow, of course. And all and those sneaky peaks. Halloween. Um, okay. We're going to go with this green. I like the green. Maybe a little brown. Okay, Liz. Liz says she has to go oh, see you at, you, at um, PM Artist Studio tomorrow. Yes, we'll see you in the morning. Thank yep. you for coming. I really appreciate you. And I'll poke. I'll poke. I'll poke some pictures up on Facebook. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> I'll poke them up there. So we're gonna give. Have this a good evening number. or whatever time yeah. zone you're in, Liz. We're running late, aren't we? Um, I don't know what late is, but you're over two hours. I don't, yeah, I'm. You're, I you're think energized. I'm fun. Yeah, I was saying you're energized. I'm not. I'm not uh, doing a countdown on you. You're on your own. You're, you're, too, <laughs> ener you're too energized. Look Let's at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's oh. leave it. Look what it's doing because I just oiled my plate, so oh. it's going to pool up, and that those colors are going to be very dark where they're 
puddled together. Ooh, so much oil and it's you're losing so much too though. No, no. I'm it's concentrating on okay. there where it's okay. where it's pulled together. That's where you get all those little bumps. It and it'll be very strong color. Let's see. Show this. It almost looks like you sprayed it on. Yeah. So what I'll do, uh, I won't finish this one tonight mm. um, because I'll wait until that completely dries and then I'll go in with another color and let it do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it'll look like mini splatters. So I'll do red next, I think. Oh, murdery red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blood spatter. That's mm -hmm. right. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I think my favorite is still the one. Well, the well, yeah, that one and the one that looks like murdery on concrete. The first murdery one. A murdery like, one on concrete. The, real, this one? the first, it, yeah, that one. That one just. Yeah, it is pretty good. But then I, I love like it. the roses too. Um, but I also really like um, this one. Uh, it's really a lot. I think these are my favorite ones. In person, they I don't think they show on camera all the little details that I see in person. Yeah, I got to go with you there. I, I really like those. Those are the great journal pages. Our murdery the, roses. And then the uh, Picasso boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Oh, wait. This isn't the murdery roses? Isn't that the same? I thought it was. Yeah, I thought so, too. Yeah. We it's have more of them. I don't know where they're at right now. Oh, this one. This one is really good. It needs that. Oh, yeah. I finish the backwards thing, but I will. Yeah. Trish has to go. To oh, Trish, thank you so much. I'm sorry about your. I'm sorry you guys are uh, dealing with um, not being able to breathe right now. Yeah. Well, thank you. She's got to go chat there. with the family. Thanks for the great oh, time. Yeah. yeah I'm going to. I'll tomorrow. send you an email. What's that? Hopefully, we'll see her tomorrow at PM Artist yeah. Studio stream. That would be great. We'll uh, see you in the morning. And I'll be in chat. Yeah, Candy says, followed by the crazy moon and then the haystacks. Yeah, I mean, great pulls tonight. These are Thank you. Really I, they're just fun. I love seeing what happens when it has a mind of its own like this, an extra element um, of that. Because gel plates already have a mind of their own. But when you yeah. start letting it do things like this, it adds another layer of that and it just create it's like clouds just like clouds it does its own thing and we see different things in it yeah and so fun and so mariah says what mariah says we have new stuff oh yay um evie has to go she has to oh. the cat okay evie you breathe and and take care and well, we're going to wrap up pretty quick anyway. I've got a lot of wet plates going on here. Um, let me put these aside and we'll pull out what we did. How's that sound? I'm just saying, PM Artist Studio with new stuff. <laughs> these people are really <laughs> kicking out the artwork. Yeah, they really. keep having new stuff. I can't keep up. I know. I'm balancing plates over here. Oh, and this one, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, that but one I like. Paper, I will add the links in because I I am really loving this. That one I really like. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. There's else? some collage material there. Yeah, we'll see how it collages. We'll see what happens. Um, let me see. We have this one that needs finished off. Yeah, this one that needs finished not done off. Yet. You know, you're mm -hmm. like you're like Carrie. You just you make your pile of done and yes, I maybe do. a little bit more and maybe a lot more. Always. So, I feel yeah. like more. Um did this one off camera right before I started. And oh, wasn't there more? Nope, I guess that's it. Yes, yeah, Mariah says great pool, Sharon. Thank you. How did we only do these? I have lost my mind. There's got to be another stack from around here somewhere because there's no way that this is all <laughs> we made in, in over two hours. There's no way. <laughs> I guess I'll find them. 
or maybe that's all we pulled. Where'd they go? I don't know. No, the, it, it, I it, think it, that's it. We talked a lot, and you and you were indecisive about paint colors. And we also too. did some layering, so there was layering happening. Boy, I love those. They're like a diptych. You could frame them and set them next to each other, and it's like a set. You know, someone else said that that they would frame them. Maybe it was Judy P about framing them. Yeah, yeah. I love them. Like a nice big white mat on each of them. I really love these. Um, and then this one needs some love, but I yeah, yeah. Maybe some hand painting on there. What do you think? I will get some good close-ups because there's a lot of things happening here that are is just beautiful. It looks like crackled paint. You know, I know you have some nice stamps. Oh, I do. Yeah, I could see you doing some stamping on there. Maybe some words. Maybe a word stamp. I think on it the needs left. Something white or some like super shiny metallics. It's just okay. a little bit. Yeah. Even the end of a paintbrush. Oh, and and and, and candies. Yeah, Candy's right. Leaves on that one would look great, too. It would. And uh, that was my plan for all of them, actually. Yeah. I could come in from the sides yep. and do some sort of a composition with them. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, it was, this was a lot of fun, and it was exciting to see what happens. And I'm probably going to sit here and continue to play with these holy leaves before they wilt and get some things on here and then i'll share some photos um there you go we'll watch the makers of, of the next yeah yeah look over in makers or you can look or, in on my page or the art mm -hmm. of the streams yeah so i will do a i'll i'll post lots of pictures okay lots of close-ups yeah. you you guys have been just wonderful fun I night think. another fun night was yeah We'll see if we break out the gel plate next time or if we're going to be doing something else. Well, How I'm much waiting for the collab. I want to see what everybody comes up with because yeah. sticks, I, I, you had me at sticks and it was like good suggestion there. So I want to see what, especially I want I'm to see what Mariah is hiding. Yeah. 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 It'll be really fun. Um, I, how would you guys feel about altering something together? Like, and I've asked about this before and I didn't, there wasn't enough, people in, involved to have interest but how do you guys feel about altering a bottle or a coffee can or a box something like that let me know um on facebook or yep. in a comment after this well, video would yeah, be great in a comment down below that would be great and i'll kind of keep track of what you guys think about that and if anybody wants to do that with me because we could do it together as a group that's kind of what i'm thinking Oh, thank you, Candy. Yeah. Thank you, Maxine. We, I agree. It's a great way to spend an evening with all of you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Yes. Time and, uh, with Amanda. Oh, hi. Just coming in as we're leaving. Oh, Joni has a, well, hey, Amanda. Um, Joni has a glass vase. That's nice. wonderful. Hey, so you guys leave it in the comments if you have, uh, if you want to alter a project together, because I'm kind of leaning towards that. I have been for a little bit and I'm ready to do it. Um, but I want to know if you want to do it with me. So um, thank you so much for being here, all of you. And if you haven't left a thumbs up, please do that. Uh, and I, all of your support means the world to me. So you guys all have a great evening. Thank you, Violet. Say goodbye, Violet. Goodbye, Violet. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Gracie. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Oh, awesome. <laughs>